For the sixth consecutive year, the organization Puerto Rico Cambia it has a, a pretty big celebration going on this year from the city of Loisia, Puerto Rico, giving Thanksgiving dinners to families. Francis Felix reports. Thanksgiving is about giving and sharing, and that's the mission of the organization Puerto Rico Cambia, who is celebrating the route Regalando Esperanza, bringing turkey dinners and joy to 15 municipalities around the island. <laughs> Ruta Regalando Esperanza was born from the initiative and the mindset that it's not about what we have, but what we give back to the community. And that's basically what we do in this event. What we do is that we partner with cities and other communities to try and target families that are in need and might not have the wealth or the facility to get a Thanksgiving dinner. So we partner with a lot of sponsors and our same volunteers to make this happen for them. So we visit house by house and we have the Thanksgiving giving turkey and all the ingredients they need to make their meal, but with a twist. We also have a parranda for them. That is a lot of live music, pleneros, and it's all about bringing the culture of giving back to the community. Puerto Rico Cambia also helps elderly and people with medical conditions working in alliance with municipalities to identify families with needs. Ruta Regalando Esperanza has been our staple event. We've done this since our inception back six years ago. So I would say we've been able to help around 150 to 200 families. This year, we, we were in the municipality of Loiza, and we were able to give um, 10 families a Thanksgiving dinner and that surprise parranda. How has been the feedback of the families and persons when you give the dinners and you bring the parranda? You know what, it's so great that you asked that question because shockingly, yes, they're grateful and they're amazing and excited, but you know what? They also give back to us. This year was very special. We were able to sing happy birthday to a lady that was celebrating 89 years of life. Another couple was celebrating 50 years of marriage. And in the end, they actually gave back to us. So they were able and willing to give us water, pray for us, and just, it was just a, an amazing and beautiful experience. We got to serve them, but in the end, they were able to serve us as well. So it was a beautiful, beautiful experience. What other events you're going to do um, to through the end of this year? So funny you ask that question. Um, we want to challenge everyone that's seeing us from home because we have a second part to our, to our Thanksgiving events. On Thanksgiving Day, if you want to separate a little bit of that Thanksgiving meal and identify a neighbor or someone around your community that's homeless or might not have their Thanksgiving meal, go out, go out to the street and invite them and have something for them so they can celebrate Thanksgiving. This is what we are going to be doing all our volunteers around Puerto Rico are going to do it and so we invite you to join us in this challenge and give back to your community the organization have been impacting families throughout the year and in December they will be giving presents to the kids with per resources from Loisa Puerto Rico Frances Felix all right, thanks so much, Francis. In the meantime, health authorities in Trinidad and Tobago are expressing concern as toddlers are becoming the latest victims of the pandemic. The health minister said that over the past three months, 14 children under the age of one have now been admitted to the hospital with COVID-19, and 11 of those children are under the age of three. The health minister said he was appealing once more to members of the public to get vaccinated as this is one way to deal with the spread of the virus. These toddlers are not going out to work. They are not going here. They are not going there. The virus is basically coming home and meeting them and sending them into the hospital. On examination, 50% of the parents are in fact COVID positive, and we don't have a hard number yet, but the vast majority is what we have been explaining to the country, unvaccinated. And what is happening is that the virus is coming home and, and being brought into the home setting and infecting the elderly and now very young babies. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had four deaths 
of children, that is persons under 18. And the health minister's revelation comes as Trinidad and Tobago marked the grim milestone of crossing 2,000 deaths from the virus. Calling the development disturbing, the health minister said to address this new development, the principle of herd immunity needs to step in. The principle of herd immunity is that everybody in the herd who are vaccinatable should be vaccinated to prevent those who cannot be vaccinated from contracting COVID. It's the same principle for MMR, is the same principle for poll, is the same principle for vaccination for infectious diseases. That the herd needs to be vaccinated to protect those few members of the population who cannot be vaccinated from contracting an infectious disease like COVID. So that's the principle of herd immunity. So we need uh, to get all parties involved now that we have explain this to you in some detail. The virus is coming home and meeting these young babes in arms and these young children under one year old. And in a lighter turn of events, the post Thanksgiving holiday shopping spree is already underway with more people starting their shopping a little bit earlier this year in the National Retail Federation, Amazon and experts all predicting a record breaking holiday shopping season. Our One Caribbean News, Emily Matson has a closer look. A bigger and earlier Black Friday shopping frenzy. According to the National Retail Federation, nearly 2 million more people than last year will shop from Thanksgiving Day through Cyber Monday. We almost think of Thanksgiving now as the halfway point rather than the kickoff. A survey from the NRF finds many shoppers started holiday shopping early, citing concerns about supply chain issues, inventory, and high demand. Almost half of shoppers started browsing and buying before November this year. Uh, for reference, that's up from 42% last year. And shoppers are expected to spend a record amount. The NRF says consumers may spend an average of about $1,000 this holiday season. One of the largest online retailers, Amazon, is also expecting big numbers. Black Friday and Cyber Monday have always been big days for Amazon. So we think this year is going to be even bigger. Experts say higher consumer confidence means more people will likely be hitting the stores in person. On Black Friday, the NRF survey found 64% are likely to shop in stores. That's up from 51% last year when COVID-19 worries kept many people at home. People like going to stores when they're buying gifts. They like to touch and feel product, see it. And for many people hitting the malls this weekend, experts say the day after Thanksgiving could be more like Bleak Friday, with some products hard to find and prices rising. The best tip, if you see what you want, buy it now. Buy it. Definitely buy it now. Emily Matson, One Caribbean News. All right, thanks, Emily. In the meantime, the holiday travel rush is now well underway. Higher gasoline prices are keeping some people home, are not keeping people home, I should say, as they load their cars and hit the road to celebrate Thanksgiving. AAA predicted more than 53 million people would travel for this Thanksgiving holiday. That's a 13% increase over last year. Air travel is also expected to approach or even exceed pre-pandemic levels. And in honor of Thanksgiving, here's a bit of trivia for you. Maybe you've noticed or maybe not, but you may wonder why Ocean Spray cranberry sauce labels are upside down. So maybe check your pantry if you have one. Here's the details. The company says it puts the label on that way on purpose. So grocers and you store the cans with the side open facing down. The reason is simple. Ocean Spray says it causes the contents to settle in an air bubble to form at the top. That way, when you open it at the bottom, the label, you can slide a knife along the edge and you can easily break the vacuum and the cranberry sauce will slide out perfectly intact to plop it on a dish for your table.